Hey YouTube, this is Texas Self Reliant out here in the bunker. I'm going to be going over first aid kits considering everything that's going on in the world right now. And I've been hearing people not being able to be treated unless you took in the jab. So for us at the homestead, being out here, we're still about an hour away from a hospital. So we pretty much have to build up our medical supply. And I have these three here and one more inside that I'll be going over another day. But today I'm going to go over the stomp bag from Black Hawk. Keep a tourniquet on the outside. Now I'm pause the video so I could open it up. Okay. So for the stomp bag, this is pretty much my severe trauma bag. And somewhat resupply to my other small first aid kits up there. And as well as um, the individual first aid kits on our... On our vest now when I first open it up I have this pack right here that I had made it's more of a I guess it's like a gunshot wound pack it has stop bleed curlex the gauze sponge chest seals nasal airway gloves and more gloves wraps I think there's a triangle bandage in there and then this would be for the, if you have a bigger wound for like a chest wound, I got two of those. And then in this one I have lots and lots of, they're like the smaller versions of the Israeli drun, Israeli um, compressed bandages. These are the four inch ones. Got a whole bunch of those in there. And on this side is the Israeli, there's... I guess it's the older model. This one. Oh yeah, and it's just uh, basically almost the same thing, just a lot smaller. So I packed them full in there, as you can see. And then got a big old stack of the quick clot sponges. And then the new ones I just got were these quick clot. I guess they're the um, the gauze. I just picked these up. These were a little bit more than the other ones. But like I said, we're far away from the nearest help, so it'd be better to treat it here. And then I know a lot of people don't like using these. It's the powder, the bleed stop. But if it's something that's not gonna not too severe, you know, I picked up a whole bunch of these as well. You could throw in there. And of course, you gotta have your tourniquets. I have two here. They're already set and ready to go. I got an EpiPen, a stethoscope, Ace Wrap, some more gloves, you know, hydrocortisone cream, thermometer that doesn't need batteries. Because once the batteries run out, you know, you're pretty much screwed. Shears, pins, pencils, tweezers, orange smoke, you never know. More tape, mask, right in the rain pin pad. And then on this side, let me get all this over here. Just have some wound wash, mirror, never know. Radio, extra batteries, headlamp for when you have to work on somebody you need both hands. And then on this side is just, like I said, my resupply. It's just extra pack of gauze. I think there's about seven, eight in here. I'm gonna say a little bit more. Just extra rolls. Extra. You're gonna go through these fast. If you ever changed a bullet wound or did some packing on somebody, you're gonna go through them quick. And then a whole assortment of wound dressings. You know, three by fours, two by threes. Emergency blankets, three in here. And then, I mean, just just lots and lots of more gauze, five by nines, uh, extra masks in here. Uh, the shower care bandages to seal it up so you don't get wet. More gloves. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pack all this back up and then I'm gonna go on to the next pocket. The next one's more of a, would be more of a resupply and, you know, a little minor care stuff. All right, I'm back. 
So for this one, there you go, black pocket right there, bam. All right, for this pocket, this one's more of my dental slash, uh, I guess if you get sprains, ankles, um, you need a splint or something like that. You know, I got some old skin in there. This is all, you know, Carmex. There's a, I think it's a filling replace kit. Uh, if you get a cold sore, uh, let's see. Oral antiseptic for, you know, you get pain in your mouth. You get your little dentist kit, mirror pick. Well, I guess, I don't know why I would put this one in this pocket. But, you know, if your ever nose is ever clogged up, you get one of these and clear it out a little bit. This is the uh, moleskin. Got one from Band-Aid and then Blister Relief. Got a couple, I think, what, two packs in there. A pair of gloves, you, you don't want to touch your feet. You can put some gloves on, do all that. Got another dentist clip. Toothbrush, tongue, mirror, pick. For your eyes, if you ever get something in it and you cover it up for a little bit, there's that. More eye care. Wash out with it. And then your ears. Get the ear stuff, band aids. To check to see if there's anything in your ears. I use this on my little ones a lot. Right now it's clogged. Extra batteries for it. A little pick to pick out all the stuff. And they're right here. I don't know if you can see that, but it all has attachments to this. It helps you scoop it all out. And then in this pocket, I get it on hand. All right. It's basically a sling in this one that we had got a long time ago. Don't throw away your slings. Don't throw away your cast. Stuff like that. Well, your cast, yeah. But don't throw away your slings. Um, let's see what else were they called. These right here. I got, you know, just extra stuff for your hand, for braces and stuff. Don't throw this way to keep those. And then you got the ace wrap. You got a splint. And the bees over here. And then triangular bandage. Those socks that you put on for your feet, the compression ones. Those work pretty good. Finger splints. Another one of those sock things, tape, and another ace wrap. I keep all that in this one right here. All right, I'm gonna repack this and start onto the other side. Okay, on this one, it's pretty much where I keep all the extra medicines. You know, you got the mucinex, anti diarrhea, kids' towel and all, help you sleep. Aspirins, kids' cold medicine, Armisenex, anti diarrhea and gas, allergy, Sudafed, severe cold. Got two boxes of those. Uh, I think this is the um, for heartburn. You'll take this one. And menstrual cramps. Then the other ones that I only had a few left of, I went ahead and put in these little bag pill bags, so that you don't got to know those. Uh, let's see, some prenatal pills. You never know. Let's see some. This was antibiotics. And like Claritin, basically here. Penicillin, Midol, Children's, well, Infant Tylenol, another pack of Midol, mm -hmm. syringes for the Tylenol, for the reason. Some amoxicillin in this one. And on this side, we have the fish antibiotics. So, you know, moxicillin, 
and same oxalin, cipro, and penicillin. And in this one, my wife was diabetic, and she had to take syringes, I mean uh, insulin. So what I went ahead and did was pack two little incidents, alcohol, band-aids, some gloves. Just if anybody ever has it, they have insulin laying around and they need it, but they don't have the syringes, you know, boom, they got two right there. And this one is for the buterol and epinephrine. Never pronounced that one, right? Ah, get it open. Okay. So you got two here. This one you could actually buy at Walmart. I got this one at Walmart. You can buy it over the counter. And this one, my son had got one. He got a couple of these actually when his when his allergies act up. So I just went ahead and packed them into this hard case. It's a little boo boo first aid kit. You don't really need to go in that one. Everybody's seen what those look like. Antiacids. I don't know if it's just with age or what, but. I've been needing some of these a lot. So I got a couple of bottles of these. Ibuprofen. Talk about the sun, it's you know, we get no clouds. And this little guy checks your pulse, oxygen level, everything like that. Yeah, get a good few. There you go. And I wrote everything down to know what I it needs to be around. I got a bigger version of this. It's in um Actually, it's inside. I keep that one inside. This one's my mobile kit. And then I have a pulse oximeter, but I don't... I guess I took it out. I need to put it back in here. And these are the iodine tabs for, you know, nuclear. I hope they never use those. And then we have a bunch of liquid IVs in here. Uh, there's some Pedialyte for the kids. I have given them liquid IVs too when it's really hot because, I mean, we live in the desert pretty much. Um, I guess I can give you a little look. Not showing too much. Yep. All that right there it is. I mean, we're far, far away from anything. And that's the rest of it. That outline a little bunker I'm making. And just a little project we're doing. Yeah, it's it's hot out here. It's, we get barely get some clouds. Ain't really nothing. You don't get no rain. I know that. All right, back to the video. Uh, got a life straw, just because I try to throw these in everything, as well as waterproof matches. Try to throw them into everything, and a small cheap knife. Well, I mean, it, it does the job. It's pretty good. Uh, if y'all hear that, those are my dogs out there. Yeah, if I get it open, there you go. It's just a, you know, basic little knife. It does pretty good for, you know, the price I paid for it. And then on this side, these are the compressed bandages. I vacuum seal them to, you know, compress them to make it easier to fit. Cause like I said, this is more of a resupply side on this side. More waterproof matches. Um, I say, what, 20 pack of gloves. More of those nasal inhaler things for with the Vicks in them. Some more tapes. There you go. More gloves. More tape. Alcohol. I had these. Um, I forgot what I got these from. I know it was an energy drink. But I just don't remember which one. But I just filled them up with the alcohol. It's ninety-one percent. Some index cards. Pill packages, more tape, more tape, and some old skin, and some tongue compressors. Alright. Alright, sorry about that. They were getting too crazy. I had to get them out of here. Uh, let's see. Right on this side. Oh, one thing I did forget to mention. I did have a... Um, uh, it's another pouch, kind of like this, but a little bit bigger that comes with the Blackhawk bags. Um, it had a red handle on it. I took that one out because that one actually has my snake bite kit. Um, pretty much anything to treat if you get bit by a snake or anything poisonous. Uh, if you get stung by a bee. Uh, it has a couple of um, 
you know, poison creams in there and stuff like that. And I keep that out and right where it's easy to get because, you know, we're out here in the desert and it's hard to get help. So I want that that I could just get to real quick. All right. And for this one, well, it says right here, feminine medical bag. So on this one, some of the medications my wife takes and all that, it just messes her up with, you know, her whole body wise. And I, you know, this is also to treat everything else that I was come across somebody that needs anything so I asked her I said, what all should I put in the bag like this for you know just women and so we got you know monosat cream I got I picked up some this health test I even put in a birth uh, pregnancy test you know some wet wipes oh man so I got all ripped up but this is a urinary pain relief I guess this would be, you know, for both, because guys can get UTIs too. So, but I picked up, I got a couple of boxes of these. And antibiotics. This one actually here treats a UTI. And this one, I don't know if you could see that. Yeah. That one that does the same. It'll treat UTIs as well as, uh, let's see, well, pretty much anything of bacteria, you know, upper respiratory and everything. And then some more badge uh, cream. And I guess yeah, that's about it for that one. Just something to make it easier on any woman that, you know, is going through some type of problems. Especially if you're in a group and everything. Just want to help them out as much as you can because, let's face it, when the wives are mad or angry or in pain, and they're going to make, you know, it's going to be worse for everybody. Alright, I'm going to repack all this stuff and show you what's... I think I have a couple more stuff things to show.